Behind the scenes with us as we catch online sexual predators. <laughs> Men stalking children over the internet. What conclusion am I supposed to draw? She told me she was 13. This time, more raw tape. If there's anything else you'd like to say. More elaborate excuses. You posed naked because you wanted to teach her a lesson. You can say that. Shocking behavior. I need you to just arrest me and take me to jail. And a new twist. The police. Turn around for me. Put your hands behind your back. Waiting to strike. Do you have anything illegal on you? No. The arrests. You have right to speak with an attorney. The interrogation. I was a police officer. I worked for Department of Homeland Security. This is Predator Raw. This was our third investigation in Riverside County, California. These men would once again be walking into a house that we had wired with dozens of hidden cameras and microphones. They wouldn't know it, obviously, when they walked in, but every move, every word was being recorded, and it wasn't until after I told them who I was that the regular cameras would come out. After our second investigation, there was a lot of outrage from viewers uh, as to why these guys weren't arrested. Perverted Justice, the online watchdog group, which provides decoys for these investigations, was approached by the Riverside County Sheriff's Department, and they essentially offered to do a parallel investigation so that when we finished talking to these guys who showed up, they would be arrested, interrogated, and prosecuted. One of the questions I was asked most after the second investigation was, why aren't these guys being arrested once they left? And I felt that we had some responsibility to at least examine a way where police could do a parallel investigation and these guys would face the criminal justice system once we got finished talking to them. We're talking about guys that brought everything from lubricant to condoms to alcohol to food, sex toys. You know, these guys were prepared to fulfill their fantasy. Instead, once they walked out, they were cuffed, taken away, interrogated, and prosecuted. Jerome address. Over three days, 51 men showed up at our house in Riverside County, California. At one point, there was so much activity at the house, the Sheriff's Department actually runs out of manpower. They didn't have anybody available to, to, to make the arrest. After we did the first investigation, I thought maybe we'd do one more and that'd be it. But given how many men showed up, I started to think that we could probably do this in any town in America and we'd always get guys showing up. And I figured there was a lot more work to be done and that uh, you know, we'd be conducting future investigations. Once the men were arrested, they were taken to a makeshift booking area where they were interviewed by detectives. We were able to videotape that entire process, but I didn't get a chance to see it until afterwards. And it produced some compelling moments. I mean, especially when it came to, for instance, the man who is an agent with Homeland Security. He showed up while they were arresting somebody else. So they had to grab him in the street. I never got a chance to talk to him. His interview with police was very telling. My father was a police officer. I was a police officer. I worked for the Department of Homeland Security. Okay, I understand you guys have a job to do and I'm not trying to tell you anything else other than that. I swear to God, as God is my witness, I'm wearing a St. Michael's medal right now, okay? I was not going to do anything with her. May God, may the good Lord upstairs strike me dead. I had no intentions on doing anything with that young girl at all, period. I swear to God. So you, know, you can sit here and tell me that you didn't have any intent to have sex this time? Okay, I can believe that. But I'm telling you, I don't believe it that you didn't intend to have sex at some point with I this girl. I swear to God, sir, I was It would have happened. Sir, okay? I swear to God it was you know not. What? I guarantee you, it would have happened. You're no different. All right, sir. I'm not. I'm every other, you. every guy, first time, third time meeting, fifth time meeting, it would have happened because you meet the first time, it's gonna happen. There's no reason to meet at all.